Hi, and good day. One of the most talked about topics today are pinched nerves. Nerves that's being irritated, inflamed, causing pain, distress, pain that radiates, muscles that spasm, that affects different parts of your body all at the same time. Looking at the neck, the neck having a normal cervical curve, these nerves in the neck affect behind the skull, underneath, over the head, behind the eyes. They go out into the shoulder, down into the chest, as well as the mid-back, and down the arm and hand. The nerves in the mid-back affect around the intercostal area, called intercostal neuritis, if it's becoming inflamed. Nerves in the lower back go to the lower back, affect the buttocks, go down the leg, called sciatica. Understand that all these nerves not only affect the musculoskeletal parts of the body, it affects all the organs, the glands, the tissues. So everything is being composed by nerves. Nerves is the firing of energy, the firing of life from the brain that sends messages down the spine to all parts of the body. When there becomes irritation on a nerve, that's like stepping on a hose trying to water the garden. All the water can't come out to the garden. The garden starts to change colors, starts to become sick. Well, the same effect happens in our body. If nerves are becoming inflamed and irritated, wherever that nerve is supplying, which can be a numerous number of, of areas, it could be the muscles in one area, it could be the heart, it could be the lung, but if those nerves are not functioning correctly, then obviously there could be potential dysfunction or damage to other parts of the body. The purpose of this video is to enlighten you, to give you a little more education about your body. That obviously when you hear the word pinched nerve, or you hear the word pressure on a nerve, or inflammation on a nerve, what's causing it? Now, if a bone directly affects a, a nerve, where people say, well, the bone's out of place putting pressure on a nerve, if the bone was on the nerve, you're gonna be in big trouble. So generally, it's inflammation, it's swelling. Now, obviously, the disc structure can protrude and put pressure on a nerve. There are other things that can cause pressure on a nerve, just swelling internally within your body. The bottom line is, is that when there's irritation, you're generally gonna have symptoms. The symptoms can range from tingling to numbness to cramping to pain, or it could be trigger points. It could be pain that radiates from one area to another. The most important thing that we should know about a pinched nerve is what is causing it? What is the underlying etiology? Where is it coming from? Is it something that maybe it's not pinched? Maybe that there's a musculoskeletal imbalance. Maybe there's a structural imbalance. Maybe there's just being referred pain to one area of another. In other words, people can have pain down the leg, and in most cases, it's not coming from the disc. It may be coming from a piriformis syndrome, or from a quadratus lumborum, or from a psoas spasm, the hip flexors. A person can have pain or tingling into the arm or shoulders, and it may not be coming from a disc herniation or the nerve. It could be referred pain from a different area. The body is very complex, so I don't want you to look at the word pinched nerve and think it's all coming from the same area. That if you are having any problem going on, neck, mid back, low back, you need to look at your everyday ergonomics, look at your activities, look at the things that you do day to day. If you're having a lot of lower back problems, look at your stomach, are you overweight? Do you have a weak core? Is there a lot of contracture in the buttocks area, particularly the piriformis muscle that can be compressing on that sciatic nerve. Are you sitting on your wallet? Woman, particularly with neck problems, are you carrying your purse on one side all the time? Men, maybe your briefcase. Are you sitting significant long periods of time without changing positions? Do you have a lumbar support behind your lower back? Are you getting up quite often? Are you doing neck stretches? Are you keeping active? Are you exercising? These are all common questions you need to ask yourself. With all inflammation, the most important thing is using ice. Ice always in inflammation. Can you use ice later if I have the same problem and it's flaring up again? Absolutely. When you have a chronic problem, you can always have an acute manifestation of that chronic condition. Ice is always good on inflammation. The worst thing that people can do is use heat over the nerve root, particularly if it's inflamed. Heat will bring in more swelling. Heat will inhibit the healing process. Heat is good primarily on muscles and joints outside that spinal system. Remember, where you apply the heat is very important because if there's inflammation, you, if you use heat over that particular area, that will delay the healing process. Most important is postural positioning. That when you have a significant weakness within a particular area, and you're spending a lot of time texting, looking down on your computer, sitting, driving with your arms and elevated in front of you, and you have your head going forward for hours and 
days and weeks and actually months. This is putting excessive load on the posterior aspect of the neck and shoulder region. This is causing future to degeneration of the disc, irritation and pinched nerves will eventually start to occur. Understand the head weighs 12 pounds for every inch you go forward, an additional 10 pounds. Just one inch is 22 pounds, two inches 32 pounds, three inches 42 pounds of stress that these ligaments, muscles, tendons, and joints have to withstand. As a result of that imbalance, those joints will rapidly degenerate, called osteoarthritis, spondylosis. Uh, this was uh, a common condition that will lead to uh, extra calcium being put in the joint. It will actually affect the opening where the nerves come out of called the intervertebral foramen, causing the vertebrae to get closer together as the discs degenerate. In the lower back, same thing. If you are carrying excessive load and excessive weight and you are uh, sitting a lot and your pelvic from sitting is rocking backwards, this lumbar lordosis you have in your lower back now becomes straightened out putting excessive load on the disc, causing more rapid degeneration and leading to disc herniations as well as bulging. That in effect will cause the disc to degenerate, causing irritation on the nerves and causing pain. So the most important thing about a pinched nerve, again, is understanding the etiology. Look at your daily habits every day, the things that you do. Stabilize the weakened areas so you can practice good posture. So I ask you to go through my videos on my channel, share those videos, look at those videos that are teaching you about good posture, good ergonomics, strengthening of particular muscles that are weak, uh, stretching the tight muscles, keeping the right balance within your system to maintain good stability and good overall spinal health. I ask you to share this video. Uh, I ask you to subscribe if you haven't at this point so you can continue to receive more educational self-help videos. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.